Welcome to Ames Research Laboratory's Roof Video Series. We developed this series as a guide to help you maintain your building's asset management plan for the long term. Today, we'll talk about flat scuppers, crickets, and TPO over crickets. During the plant survey, it was determined the drainage valleys that existed around each section of both domed roofs had extremely poor drainage patterns. This caused water to bottleneck before making its way to the various roof scuppers. This poor water flow condition caused scuppers to overflow and water to accumulate on the roof. This accumulated water added excessive weight to the roof deck along much of the low areas of the roof and increased the likelihood of leaks. The poor roof drainage patterns were corrected by installing wood-framed crickets along the length of each domed roof. The varying height and angle of the new cricket framing changed the way the runoff water flowed down the roof. This improvement to the drainage patterns allowed repositioning and resized drain scuppers to work more efficiently. The inspection of roof scupper drains revealed that some of the scupper drain areas had deteriorated wood framing under the existing roofing materials. This necessitated removal of all the overlaying roofing materials to expose the extent of the deterioration. Exposed areas of wood rot were removed and reframed with new wood and decking prior to beginning installation of new roof finishes. It was also determined by calculating area historic rain events, the scupper sizing was not sufficient to adequately allow drainage of the surface area of the roof without accumulation of excessive water on the roof. This was done by utilizing historic water data obtained from the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration and Almatsat.com, who track and archive weather events across the United States, including rainfall patterns. International plumbing codes and recommendations were then used to calculate anticipated water runoff requirements for this specific roof. Scuppers and scupper openings were enlarged to meet the drainage demand. Additionally, new TPO roof membrane liners were installed uniformly around the new crickets and drains in the high water accumulation areas of the roof. Once the repair and replacement work was completed, it was time to clean up the remaining roofs and move into the next part of the work, which involved applying roof coatings. As always, Ames Research Laboratories is here to discuss options that are best for your specific roof issues and your bottom line. We recognize that roof solutions are not always a full roof tear-off and replacement, but when the underlying damage is excessive, we will recommend what is best for you.